OK, we're also going to add a new page to the site now. <coughs> WordPress differentiates between what it calls posts and pages. What it <laughs> typically a page will appear in the contact bar. So if we go, sorry, in the um, in the main site navigation. So if we go to the demo site, open a new tab for us, and you'll notice that we've now got home and contact. So I'm going to add another page, and actually what I'm going to do because I want the contact page to be around about the right hand side of the menu bar. And what you can do is a little thing called order. That normally defaults to nothing and it just then goes alphabetical but if we put that to 100 and go update and then we're going to add a new page which is going to be I'm going to call it all about because whatever and we're just going to add some waffly text. You can again change that and we can do go down to Yoast and change SEO title and whatever that will freak because I'm not there but it'll be fairly happy with what I'm typing there. This is just for demo purposes you spend a lot more time on it than this. Now across on the right and got all the all the stuff from before with um, visibility, publish immediately, and stuff like that. You can put it below the contacts. So if you want to do menus, you'd use that. So that's where you use parent default template. Now this is going to be the front page of my site, and you either do you've got a choice there: a front page template or a full width template with no sidebar or the default. This is going to be the front page, so I'm actually going to call it front page template and that's the exclude pages from navigation. That only includes on pages, not not posts. So if, if we did another one called privacy we'd untick that because typically we'll put that somewhere else out of the way, tucked, hidden, but visible. If that makes sense it won't be on the main menu bar. So we got that and click back to the demo site there Move that across. So we got home, all about me in contact. That's going to change in a minute. But all about me is what we just put there. And home at the moment is just that snippet. You remember I put that more thing in there? That's where continue reading happens. Now we're about to change that. So back to the dashboard. Got one more page to add first because this particular site I'm going to basically have as pretty much fixed pages mainly but also a kind of news section and I'm going to call that news section a blog just because everyone else seems to and that's all that's going to go in there literally a title and a blank page the reason for that you'll see in a minute so that's there if we view the page it's boringly blank I haven't edited out the comments, but don't need to on that one. I do on the, the main About Me page. So go back into there and edit, scroll down the bottom, get rid of that, update. OK, so down across to settings, you remember there was something that was called reading. Front page displays currently latest posts. We're not going to go for that because this is kind of a more corporate -y site or one that you want to sell from the front page on. And you just want the other stuff to support it. And the front page is going to be all about me. And the posts page is going to be the blog. That's why you leave it blank. Each article will show whatever. Uh, let's go for summary. And at the moment, let's discourage search engines because. This is completely demo site, but normally you would make sure that was unticked so that you'd allow them to go for it. Save changes, go back to the site, visit the site, and now the main page is all about me, and the blog is there with our first post on it, but only that first bit, and then the continue reading goes to the main bit. So that's how you'd set up the main site. It's actually, once you've done one or two of them, it's dead easy. And if you're not, just come back to this video. It's quite short and just refresh your memory. But essentially, it's do a pages for all your contacts. So you do one for maybe the products you you offer, one for 
about you, uh, another one for something else, whatever it happened to be, and a privacy page which you're going to put use the thing that it calls appearance and widgets and there's a footer somewhere I think it's the second front page widget area we just play around and test it doesn't break anything and you just put your privacy page in and you'd use just a text thing and a lot depends on your theme on that one and talking of themes we'll have a little we'll have a play around with the theme next so see you in the next video.